All right, here is a relatively short video on the FZJ80. This is for sale. I had it for sale earlier. I had a buyer um, and it just didn't pan out. And I did some adjustments to this truck and have dropped the price. So let's get to it. This has a six inch lift on it. Um, pretty tall when you do six inches there's a lot of geometry you need to do like lower upper control arms um, the front uh, sway bar drop kit um, so you have better clearance just lots done believe it or not that bumper that comes right up to my hip that's how tall this thing is <laughs> my, my hip is right there so super tall this is emerald green so in the Sun you can see a bit of the Sun coming through the shade it's green but Whenever there's shade or at nighttime, it looks black. So let's go over what this has on it because there is like 20 grand worth of extras. In fact, a little history. This is California, its entire life. Um, the last owner bought it in 2019 stock and ended up building it like dream build. It was their dream truck. And, and even when I bought it, you know, they stood on the corner watching me drive away. Poor guy. But he had to sell it to uh, buy a box truck for his business. Did all this stuff, never even went off-roading. Just a little fire trail, he told me, because he had a two-year-old child and just couldn't get out. So, had to get rid of the passion project, and I'm the one that bought it. So, starting from the front, we have an Iron Man front bar, Iron Man lights, uh, a worn VR 10,000 winch, and a synthetic rope underneath caster correction right there there's the new springs the shocks this everything phenomenal new it's all new quad lights those quad lights alone I believe they're like 1600 bucks pretty cool you got the nice big cable here um, for the CB and a functioning snorkel on the side metal tech uh, on the uh, the side steps, you know that alone is like about 1,100 bucks. Uh, moving along, oh yeah, it's got a new. I put a double carbon drive shaft. Now this did, if you saw my previous video, this did have a slee rear bumper. I took it off and I put an original bumper that I refinished. Usually this right here is aluminum. I just wrapped it in black so you could remove this, and it's polished aluminum. It looks brand new when you polish that up. It's super easy. But very clean. Um, in the back, it's got the, well, there's my bike, but it's got the third row seats, beige interior, everything in great shape. All seats are great. The driver's seat was redone because, as you know, the leather um, doesn't do the test of time very well. You know, at least the leather that's being sat in every day. So leather clean. Everything's super nice. Sunroof works, as you know, a lot of the time, probably 50% of the time, sunroofs do not work. This works entirely. The antenna also works, goes up and down. So it doesn't have factory lockers, but some people would attest that this is better. Um, their argument goes both ways, but it's instant engage, right? It's not like an e-locker that you might have to back up or go forward before it finally disengages. Air lockers are instant. So front, rear, compressor, of course, for airing up your tires as well. You need a compressor when you got the lockers. Upgraded sound system, double din deck thing is awesome inside. Stereo system's phenomenal. So just super clean. Um, what else can we say about it? Let's look underneath. Like I said, lots of stuff gets done. Like those are brand new lower control arm upper control arm if you can see that right there again uh, new coil or new uh, springs and shocks a little bit of armor underneath so lots done to it it's also geared it's got 488s so this thing is ready for the trail previous owner too did everything the knuckles the diffs the fluids everything so this thing is ready to go now price it was at 36,000, but I took off that rear bumper and put in an, an original and I removed the shocks that were on it. Yes, it had King shocks, but those King shocks were meant for a three to a five inch lift. 
So it wasn't really benefiting from those shocks. These now have shocks for a six inch lift. Now it rides so much better. So it's Dobinson and uh, this thing, you can take corners at speed and it just holds it like you're riding on rails. So as lifted as it is, it drives so incredibly well, so amazing. I love driving this truck. I wouldn't sell this, but I have my diesel Black Mamba that I put the sleeve bumper on, and I have Otis, my FZJ, which is a 1995. So reluctantly, I will sell this. Um, so instead of 36, because of those items I took off, which you know are of value, that rear bumper is four grand, and the King King shocks are like. Um, near three grand so I'm dropping it from 36 to 29 um, so 29 G you have something that's ready to hit the trail right away ready to go cross-country um, you know rust-free California phenomenal example of the final year of what I believe is the best Land Cruiser all round ever made they spared no expense on this puppy so hit me up if you're interested uh, I haven't put it, I'm just putting out the video, I haven't put it on any classifieds, I hate mud, Craigslist or anything like that. Just putting it on my video for my subscribers, if someone wants a good deal on it, I think 29 is a phenomenal deal. If you think about it, I've seen some clean, rust free that go for about 18 to 20. Well, add another 20 grand when you include labor and all the parts to get your truck to this level. That's what it would take. So if you find one for 18, then you do all that stuff. You're into it for about, you know, high 30s and going through months of, you know, the build. This one is ready to go. Personally, the only thing I'd add is maybe a Prinsu roof rack because a Prinsu roof rack, when they go on sale, maybe 800 bucks. Um, actually, I'll put a link that you can save on, a, save 10% off on a uh, Prinsu roof rack in the description. But put that on, looks really cool, even though it's got the OEM roof rack on there. Uh, and if you wanted to do a bumper, I think there's a cool bumper you can get over at Cruiser Tech that's just like the 4x4 Labs, or just leave it for that original cool look. Because it is so high, it's gonna be pretty tough to drag that back end with a six inch lift. That is pretty tall. All right, that's it. So any questions, shoot me a message. Uh, again, 97. Oh yeah, I didn't say it's 243,000 miles, but again, it is a well-maintained um, 243. Drives amazing. And as you know, these engines are built to last. So there she is. Thanks for watching and someone will love this truck. And if anything, it's it's a you know you know how the 80s are it's something that'll hold its value or slowly go up as time goes because they don't make them anymore they are a great truck all right happy trails hit me up if you're interested